Welcome back. We have elimination series, a qualification series, however you want to put it. Either way, six teams remain, and only three will move on to the top eight to the group stage. First up, of course, we have Virtus Pro up against Blacklist International. Flames. Room back Very onto Tims. He has no disrupt. Uh oh. Winding down the stun, it is a lot of physical damage. And throw down the acid spray as well. Last touch, Kiritic able to get that last takedown. But he's taking quite a bit of tower damage. Gabby doesn't have that last bash wound up. And Kiritic will be able to walk free. Sayuja yeah. is stacking the gap. Just the natural move. Stack. Dota. It is MJZ who gets it, but Rolling Thunder means that at least one of these heroes is gonna die. FNG, a pretty big stick though. Still gonna try and come through. One last swashbuckle, they'll cut down the disruptor. Stun up onto the high ground, but no further chase. Tango as, a, as long as it's level 6, you're more or less gonna get a kill most of the time. Strong, the is too strong. Yeah, not even Lesh can face up against it. And now Kiritich left alone in this bot side means that he's gonna get run down. FNG coming through with the kinetic field though. Kiritich can turn around the stun, still Ooh, has nice. the range, but beautiful disruption from Tims. Bails Gabby out, but the glimpse pulls him right back in. And what can you do? It's disruptor gameplay, right? But uh, Tim's good try there on the Shadow Demon. Some cute outplays and Virtus Pro the setup. They're able to punish Gabby a little bit for his greed there. You can't really blame him. Now Sage in the mid lane, looking to get cut down by the shield crash. Nicely done. Looking yeah, for some sort six. of defense. Ah, Abed ready to get rolling lane. again. He has a TP. He has static storm. We gotta come in. Abed. The trap is set. Abed just gonna get caught by the silence. Uh oh, squatting's dropping low as well. But looks like Abed will just completely melt. Oh, they bury him six feet under. The, the rest of the blacklist supports. They can't do much. Move for the slaughter. There's a catapult wave coming in. And an AD rune. Abed. Uh oh. Dude, they're so wise to it. The static nice. storm again silence. stopping Abed. The glimpse away. It's not in the right place. A nice disruption holding Abed in place and he should be able to get the Rolling Thunder off if he wants. Now VP, they have to retreat. Being chased down now. Here comes the bowling ball, ready to knock down Kiritic. MJZ is level 6 as well. Has a swap available to crush down too much physical damage. But the whole squad of VP has shown up to the fight. Palos is here as well. You pop a Luna illusion of him. But it's not so significant in this early stage of the game. They love MJZ, a glimpse back onto Gabby again, but another disruption. Tim's so quick with that reaction. Still trying to poke and prod at each other right now. Blacklist have to give up this position. It's a bit too deep between the two towers. Just trading the bench for it. I mean, the oh, and now three members in the mid lane. Squadix getting demonic perched up, stunned, and too much magic. Abed will just swash him down. Seems to be a timing. You know about it. Let's oh, the charge. Oh, up to the high ground. You so need to defend it. this. Yeah, he managed to cut down so many of those big creeps. Grims, trying to get one. Go back onto MJZ, still have a swap available, but now the lasso oh, out. Firefly. MJZ pretty tanky though. They still just have enough magic damage. They'll kill her, uh, kill her off and protect this triangle area. The bench is really shining now with the minus armor, helping the pango do damage. And you have to swap to remove the lasso later on. Top Trying lane. to dive onto Palos, they commit the wall. There's FNG with the silence as well, but Abed shown up to the fray, rolling forward. Notice, he's just gonna get mowed down. They managed to glimpse back, but another disruption. They've killed off two. VP just have to run. Once again, they throw away the bench, but they're more than happy to give up MJZ for these call kills. Notice takes a tumble. And again, Blacklist, they're moving so clean and so quick. Yeah, and another rune into Abed's uh, pocket. Right, this is perfect for him. Rolling Thunder, kill a hero, shuffle a couple of ways, take rune, farm jungle. It's just MJZ again, that's gonna be painful. Oh, he got stunned! Oh, they get the sun off! And the Eclipse now, Sage, this is not the bling reveal that you wanted, but a bit of a split fight now. They should be able to kill off the... No? Bad. Just runs all the way away and the Diabolic yeah, Edict doing a lot to Abed. Stating Storm as well, but the BKB pop from Gabby chasing down. Let's just get punched down by the Bashers. You get pulled back now, Kiritich doing quite a bit of damage, but once again, it's only MJZ. You put the wall down, sure, you get a fish of your own, but now Abed's into the mix again with the Shield Crash, forcing Kiritich back out of the fight. Poking and prodding now, one last glimpse, putting oh, Gabby in a it. very awkward spot. But oh, Abed with the swatch finds the... Oh my goodness, Abed. It's been all him this whole game. He's gonna show himself now again. Ooh, they can just get this pick off and hit straight into the Roche pit. This is scary for notice. He's just gonna get crushed up and killed off. A very easy affair. 
That's gonna open up the Roche for Blacklist for the taking. And Palos with an Aegis, this Luna timing online. Everything coming together for Blacklist now. And this Slada timing, it was a bit slower of a start. He didn't necessarily dominate the lane, but now with his Link and BKB, he's all over the map. Gonna be scary disruptor with the Dark Seal vacuum. Mode. I bet if the mid lane could get Cal caught out, Lasso in, but immediate swap. MJZ was so prepared. And again, they give up MJZ for the cause. That's been the name of the game. Every time MJZ dies, something good happens. Now, Kiritich charging up his stun. Easy, easy kill. Yeah, just finds Tims. Looking at Abed now. Uh oh. No bench to save you now. Abed in some trouble. Still has the Aegis. It's kind of an awkward way to use it though. We'll lose the first life, the rest of Blacklist streaming in now, but with the Thunder Strike to Gabby, he can't initiate. He's getting focused down, but beautiful swap. MJZ again, saving Gabby. He has to pop the BKB, waits until he gets fished in because he wants a fight. Starting to charge forward, trying to finish up MG. Will be able to kill off that Disruptor and a huge Rolling Thunder from Arbet on his second life. Doing quite oh, a bit of work, but now... Yeah, oh, he gets lasso mid-roll. Quick catch from Seiyuj. Puts a stop to that retreat from Abed, but he's still able to blink out. Just a bit too mobile. Meanwhile, Notice spent the entire fight trying to create Luna illusions for himself, but it's not going to be enough. It fight. Scan just off the map, so they don't really know where Blacklist are. On the flip side, Blacklist. Bad has a ward. They're going to run into each other. Oh, Palos on the front lines, but they can just burst out no Seiyuj. She dies instantaneously. No buyback now. The control on the ledge as well. This has become disastrous for VP. As they come... What was that? I... They just run straight into Palos, lose their bad, and now they've lost three. Palos and the gang, they can just go on to the tier two. I mean, you need armor so bad in this game that Squadix even has a value. They're trying there. to set up a vacuum into an alchemy stun, maybe? Oh, Back pull on to Albert. But the swap again, MJZ is so quick with it. They'll come forward, punch out onto Palos. They have themselves a Luna illusion. Yeah, he has Aegis and the second life, so this isn't really going to work out for you. Gabby starting to chase down onto the Elf already. I don't think this is a fight you can win. FNG going to go down, and now the BKB going to start timing out for Kiritich. You have to buy back and try and win this fight. Gabby's With Kiritich dropping low, you at least get Gabby for now. Aquatic starting to do quite a bit of damage. The Luna's low as well. Still has the second life, but kills off the Elf beforehand. Kim's still there with the setup and the disruption, holding that poor Darcia in place. And now Palos, he's in the middle of a stepping storm. He can't do enough damage. And the Illusion, the cheese. Oh, Abe passes it to him perfectly in time. And the Luna back in fighting shape. Squadix will die. And FNG, this was the fight that was supposed to go right for you. Brothers Pro lose everything. Oh, that was very, so very, very clutch very plays clutch. from Abed. My goodness, this guy, how good is he? And now Palos on the high ground along with Gabby, the supporting cast for Blacklist as well, doing wonders to keep their cause alive. I mean, VP's team fight is definitely something not to be underestimated, you know, if you're Blacklist. They definitely did not expect VP to pull up such a strong fight. Yeah, yeah. so Gabby. Yeah, Gabby's yes, caught again. Tims, Tims, Tims! Always with the disruption. It might not be enough to save Gabby, but he'll put up a bit of a fight. Let's Try and draw all the punches on the Kiritich. But Squadix is already dead. Yeah, let's just down. And Kiritich just has to run for the hills. But swap back into the frame. Blacklist, find them all! But the Sprawl, they can't offer anything for their cause. They all just get ripped up by Blacklist. And oh boy, this first game looking way out of their hands now. The Luna 5, 0, and 7 has yet to even taste death this game. Who oh no, knew, you know, when, when Abed's on form, the fire's lit under his butt or something. He is just playing out of his mind this game. They're gonna try for a wraparound. FNG and Notice is the tag team duo trying to get a huge static storm. They'll come in with the beautiful vacuum, but already an A on disc for this Tim's Shadow Demon. He still gets melted down, though. Kirti able to chop him up, okay? Two supports out of the picture, now it's only the fourth left. They're controlling up onto Gabby, and looks like the fish will get fried as well, but they can't kill off Palos for now. The Luna is just way too big, chops up the Alchemist, and Abed will mop up FNG while he's at it. You try a TP out, Squadix, where are you going? Absolutely nowhere. Chase down now, Palos, Scardi complete, slow to a crawl is this Lash, no Shadow Demon needed. It's a good final attempt from BP, but without buybacks, they'll call GG, game one falls into the hands of Blacklist as VP just have to tap out. That was a nice attempt by like going from behind initiating on. And for Blacklist, one game stands between them and securing their place in the group stage where tons of other opponents wait. The question is whether Blacklist can go the distance and settle the score. Does he know? I think he doesn't see anyone. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, he's okay. Well, FNG, uh, sayonara. What can you do? Uh, Give it to Abe. They feel like it worked really well in screams for them.
Yeah. Probably had that one on the back burner. Holy crap. And Abed gets a solo kill. There's not much creativity in terms of play from the Viper. Top side, the tussle. Notice dropping oh, low. The glimpse the back. Boom! MJ's the classy stuff. And Palos will get a double kill as a result. Pulling back onto Seiyuj and a bit too far for the Viper to respond. He'll just give up his ally. It's a nice three-man avalanche though. Seiyuj able to get out of there, but no, the lift pulls him right back in and Abed will find the last touch. Squadix, oh, the AD rune. Looks like Tim's is dead. All they need is a vision around the tree line. They can try and juke, but he's a bit too slow on the Rubik. TP in now on the Centaur as well. They commit the Stampede. They have to TP out on Abed. The stomp up, but Squadix getting a double kill. Uh-oh, this is where the Viper looks so, so strong. And he might go down here to Gabby. One last double edge, but a triple kill. Huge comeback for Squadix in the mid lane. Got to know what's happening. Easy. Again, it's tended to be the sacrificial lamb in these situations. And he away onto Squad X, but Seiyuj able to finish off the kill with the toss back and the lingering poison damage. will save it for Squad X. So kind of him. Here you go. He spots out Squad X with that nice sentry. He's still level 5. He was level 5 he at is, minute, yeah. minute 8, I think, 7 and half eight. Nice. Yeah, he's been hiding away, but the setup now onto Squadix. If they get full focus down this Viper, that'll be he huge. The XP. He at least oh, gets he got one. The XP. Let's go, MJZ. Nice sentries there, spotting out Squadix. And you gotta imagine that, you know, the MJZ is like, oh, you know, we can trap him in the tree line. Bot side though, went live. There's a black hole instantly cancelled. Cancelled by the static storm and stolen. Uh oh, now you need to kill this Rubik off. If not, him, it's gonna be a major problem. Notice, still managing to roll through and buy the space for them to kill off Gabby. With a glimpse back, notice nowhere to run. Lifted back up, but the rest of VP threatening aggressive plays here. Teams can't find an opening to use it for now. Still try and run forward. With Squadix joining their ranks, Kiritich on the front lines, they're feeling strong. And JZ just being swashed down. So much damage on this Pango now with the Diffuser complete. On this Centaur. It's not really able to stand his ground against this mob lane. Black, Black hole being used. It's not enough magic. First, narrowly with the stun, they'll find it. The GA is rushing a BKB too. So he realized he can't be too greedy for scaling this thing. He just needs to survive. Oh no, Gabby. This bot side, speaking of greedy, sticks around for far too long. And Tim's a tree man. Three man movement. Up to the high ground, spot out notice, immediately static storm, no hope for this Pangolier. Lift it back in, but does he really have enough damage just narrowly? Him stealing the shield crash, jumping up to the high ground. Wow, Kane rune available as well. Squadic's gonna grab that one. Again, it's just MJZ. I don't think they're too concerned about the loose the position. He knows something is not right. He was purposely standing on the high ground there. I think they know. Sandwich. I think they just guessed wrong and now FNG is gonna try and bait them out, but they smell something's missing. It's not enough for Gabby to get out. The TP cancelled now. Seiyuj. With that avalanche, can they get the chase out? Kiritich waveforming forward. They need to find this big stocky horse in the tree line. He doesn't have a TP. They just need to hunt him down. Ooh, just nearly missing, but... Oh, they get the toss. Seiyuj finds Gabby. And they'll wave him goodbye, all right. That is the pickoff that could open up the Roche for themselves. Just gonna go up to the high ground and instant static storm. Catch out on Takiri Chains, you have the vision and the stun, oh, this morphing edgy, that is disastrous. Gets taken down by Palos. VP, uh, on a false sense of security, you may be thinking, okay, Blacklist won no part of this fight, Gabby. This smoke will break straight onto Seiyuj. This looks like a dead tiny lift up and meld it down. Uh, it's quite a bit of space onto Abed, though. Just don't. Don't oh, you worry. Right. You're right, you're right. He'll get it in good time, but Gabby might be finding his death. Smoke move out, Virtus Pro. Find him right where he found them. Seiyuj, a bit of revenge for him. They'll even commit the Rolling Thunder. That just was to be safe. To be safe on the map, but. Still something. has that. Oh, no, this is a way bigger kill. Stomp up now. Melt damage. Oh, that last bit of an auto attack. The roll up wasn't enough. Something like that. And now they. Actually, I don't know. MGG, there's no mana. Yeah, he just has the static storm. That's the rest of the squad. Palos. Coming in now. Abed joining up. Kiritich, where are you going? Just getting glimpsed back, stun up. Where's the rest of the squad? You're looking for a bling black hole, but they're so far away. It's just gonna be the first life of the mobling already. Okay, but this bro, what's BKB. the response? Can BKB back up now and just get out of dodge, but that is not how you want to use your resources. They definitely yeah. want to fight now to do that we'll see. Just pick up my talents. Very, very strong. On the elf. Punishing out onto Tim's though, he blinks forward to try and get a spell steal, but will be punished for it. Glimmer, not enough. Oh damn, my Palos, they see him. Oh no. 
Uh oh, he's gonna get caught. Jack Hall is here. Oh, he's gonna try, but yeah. It's an easy grab. FFG, that's the thing reveal that he wanted. Stampede coming forward. He's making quite a good bit of distance. Can't run away. Black Hole is available. BKB from the Enigma not ready just yet. So we Gem. need to keep our eyes up for that. There's a wraparound. There's the double stun into FNG and no Black Hole. He has to buy back to rejoin the fight. They've already killed off Notice. Oh, this is looking terrible for BP. They need to try and rejoin this situation and bail their carries out of your Kiritich. Morphed up into Arbet though. Has the refraction working and is playing into the TA. Arbet, he's dropping low and he doesn't have the damage. He can't finish up spotting in time. The glimpse back, but the Viper looks A-OK. -okay. Palos will punch him down finally. The mass buybacks come out, but Palos just has to escape. Kiritich, the big winner of that situation. They use way too many resources on everyone other than Morphling and they get punished for it big time. Look high at ground this. Ward. They need a high ground ward. Rubik has ops. Disruptor has ops. Jump out again. This time it's on to notice. They burst down the Pango and he doesn't have a buyback. Hallows, mopping up onto Seiyuu. This is actually pretty big for Bertha's Pro. They pull back Kiritich, force the BKB out, but the Morphling able to wave on to safety. TP out. Looks like this Roche area How is gonna be. I don't. And Ward's being planted oh, no. as well. He's gonna die. They know he's here. FNG. Where are you going, buddy? He blinks out. Immediate lift up. And there we go. That's the position 5 thing that you did wanted to see him do. The... Oh no, he didn't get the fire out there. Weak against the Scully. Once your BKB runs out, you're gonna be run down by Scully. Notice oh. still in the cover of smoke. It's gonna be revealed now. Get catch onto Palos, start things out, but that's not the target that they want. They're looking for the back oh, lines. Yeah. Find onto Arbet. Uh oh, TA down. Easy kill Stampede comes out a bit too late. Gabby pops it to try and save himself there. He's in the tree line now, uh -oh. still dodging away. Uh -oh. This is scary now. Blacklist, they're on the cusp of finding oh, this morphling. He's Jump in the hex, Kiritich, he's down. He gets that, he's stopped now. You need a black hole, you find it. FNG delivers, but is it going to be enough? Kiritich, not enough damage done to him, but he's still silenced for days after days. As a buyback, might have to use it to come back into this fight. They've already killed off the alchemist, and now Arbet in trouble. Squalic is the carry now. And Virtus Pro, no morphling, no problem. FNG coming up big for the team. And still furthering the chase down, you need to buy back on the center, but realistically, what are you buying back for? MJZ is trying to hide in the trees, but Midnight Paul says no. And Virtus Pro wipe out three. Gabby's if you count Gabby's buyback, oh, he's sticking around. What is he trying to do? Kill off FNG? That's not possible. He's gonna You're going to pay the price for that. You kill FNG, but now the Stampede again just to retreat. But the Yule stops him in his tracks. Seiyuj is there with the toss back on to notice. It's a thick, thick horse they need to work through, but Squadix, not a lot of mana to work with, but so many poison attacks. Holding him down, no TP, no options. We'll just kill him off. He, he has gotten there on the Enigma. I'm He's not a gonna problem lie now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, it feels like there are so many problems. Alos winding up the stun. Double stun? Point. Angle gets a double stun. It's huge. MGG with the static storm. Holding up to the tiny and the pango. But on the oh, sideline, they found FNG. They got him. There's no black hole anymore. And Kiritich goes down on the first bike, waiting for the respawn. Arbet swooping in, trying to clean up. Notice taking those last few auto tanks. It's not enough. Kiritich trying to do what he can along with Squadix to salvage this fight for Virtus Pro. They've already lost three. But now the mob is on the front line. Silence up. Eaten up alive. The Bloodthorn says no. And it's a reverse, Your just team wipe. Blacklist. A hard game, and it turned out to be the case for Blacklist. Getting that two man static storm. And Pango has buyback, Morphing has buyback though, but it's Blacklist, they jump in on Palos first, but Gabby, he's waiting for FNG to show his face. As soon as he sees a glimpse of that Enigma, jumps in, Hexus, no chance for FNG to even play the game or pop his BKB. Really just MJZ, and now Virtus Pro, even though they were in a great position. For the past 10 minutes, slowly clawing their way back into the game up against Blacklist. Now it's Blacklist on their high ground, taking the buildings, taking the objectives, and putting them at a further deficit. Virtus Pro now, being tagged up by some of the illusions. He's baiting. Just, he is absolutely baiting. FNG falls for it here. The Rolling Thunder coming forward onto the high ground. They found MJZ. Hides under the cover of the Glimmer. They don't have the detection, but with the dust, they'll find him. And now, no Static Storm. This is a big problem. Palos still trying to work out on Seiyuj there, but with the Wind Waker, he's fine. They're TPing back in. They brought back on the Disruptor and they want to fight. Notice in some trouble, silenced up and lifted and controlled. He is dead. Seiyuj just worked down by Palos, so trading out evenly. Blacklist, they still maintain an advantage on this high ground. Still waiting around, only presenting Abed. 
Lotus Pro, they spent a bit too much on that Disruptor trying to get that kill, wasted a bit too much time on that high ground. Spent all their BKBs and nothing to show for it. Mega creeps now for Blacklist. They're just slipping away. Again, Gabby gets a touch out onto the Enigma. The Static Storm on his head. And he is gone. He has a buyback. Might want to sync it up with Tiny. The Stampede use and the Static Storm. You don't have that anymore. Hanging on by a sliver, but so many problems to deal with now. Nice dodge on Abed. Linking away from that Viper Strike. The man starting things out. Starting an auto attack out onto Palos, but he has that Berserker's Potion and Squadix. He's trying to be that tier 4 tower in place of the objectives that he's lost, but again, Blacklist, they're playing so conservative. Finally, you'll buy back on the Enigma, but you're already losing characters. It's too late. Oh, here comes the Black Hole on the two, but where's the follow up damage? It's not enough. FNG just gets sliced apart. Too little, too late for Virus Pro. The dream in front of their eyes. They clawed it back, but maybe it's not over just yet. Squadix able to punch through Palos. And Gabby still coming back in with another Hex. The Aeon Disc will bail notice out for now. You buy back on the Alchemist. You're trying to rejoin and put an end to this game. They can smell it. They can feel it. Their ticket straight to the group stage. Abed has to run with that Stampede. The control on the Squadix, the Static Storm is back. Silencing up onto the Viper. Nowhere to run and no save for him. He might be tanky, but not tanky enough. And you even steal that black hole. GG is called Blacklist. They'll be able to 2-0 Butters Pro. A hard-fought series in that game number two. Not quite as happy, but they'll be pleased.